Alright, what's going on ladies and gents, it's Jake and in today's video I'm going to show you how to get as much gold as possible. There are two methods, so be sure to stick around for the second method that is a lot better than the first one. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, at the very beginning of White Run at the front gate, you're going to want to walk up these steps and then you can walk around here and to this little courtyard here. Now the best way to get under White Run is just walk up to this wall and fall through. Now once you're falling through, you can turn around and you'll see this little outcropping of land in the void and you're going to walk over to it now this is a very known method this is my entire channel pretty much um i've used this method a ton for a ton of different gods every smithing god uses this method most of my gold gods use this method but i think i've come up with just a better one um in general but I'm going to show you guys how to walk around here the entire way because I do get some questions sometimes in the comments of how to get around. Now, the reason that I make these guides most of the time is just so uh, console players can have an easy way to level up, uh, to do builds and stuff like that. Because PC players can literally top it into the console and pretty much just get it immediately. Um, any kind of skill to 100 or anything like that and they can make their builds easy. Uh, we console players have to get a lot of stuff manually um, leveled up. So I do recommend you play the game a few times by yourself um, without these kind of glitches and then lean into the glitches a little bit more. Play Skyrim the right way once at least and then get into this stuff, just kind of defending these glitches a little bit. But we are almost here to the end. Now, the reason we're doing this specific way is most gold made in Skyrim is going to be made from selling stuff to vendors. Now, vendors in Skyrim only have a thousand gold at a time, roughly, um, and they're not going to get any more unless you reset their inventory. But I want to say this real quick. Wherever the stone meets the wall, you can walk in here and then fall straight down and you'll see a chest. <clears throat> you'll see a chest and then you'll see Yorland up there if it is at night time. So I'm going to go ahead and wait. A few hours for him. There he is. He's over at the over at the grindstone. So we come down here to this chest. You can see a hundred gold. Uh, all the arrows, a hundred gold, basically a hundred gold, hundred gold. You know, hundred fifty there, four hundred for some of this stuff. And then you come through here and you can buy all of this different, all the all of his different stuff. So, and he will have uh, materials and gold also. So once you want to reset his inventory, I would take all the stuff out of the chest if it was me specifically. But you can see he's over at the blacksmith, and we need him right here under the grindstone. So once he starts yanking that rope right there, we can wait one hour, and then he'll drop what he's doing and walk straight over to the grindstone every single time. Now, I don't know what the companion's quest has to do with any of this. I don't know if it uh, changes the way he works or the way he moves and stuff like that. I've seen some comments about that also. But now that we've got him over here, we're going to pause the game walk over here or go over here and save then we're going to come in and make sure that we have our um, unrelenting force equipped hit him once with foos you just have to have the first word of it or any kind of shout that will damage him and then come down here and load your save file now once you have this save file loaded um, he should have a completely reset inventory but uh, to get his stuff you cannot go straight to the chest down here you have to come right up here and talk to him. So you have to jump and talk to him, ask him what he has for sale, and then there his gold will be back. And you'll see when you come down here, all of his gold and all of his stuff will be reset, see? So, now, what can we do with this? If we take all the stuff out of here, and we do that four or five times, five or six times, I don't even know. You can do it as many times as you want. You can exit this area by walking straight over here, to the targets and you'll eventually make it out and now we can walk straight up to him and sell him all of his stuff back doing the exact same method now you might want to stay under the forge so you can get all of your gold back and stuff like that but you can now go on ahead talk to him ask him what he has for sale and now let's say we bought something from him and we sold stuff and down to him only having 34 gold left we can now save, hit him, then load, and then we can sell him more of his own stuff back uh, after we've stockpiled up a bunch of it. Once it loads up, you can now see if you talk to him again. There you go, 1160 gold. You can do that over and over again um, and to your heart's content and get as much gold. I did it for a little bit and I got about 30,000 gold. I did it for about 15, 20 minutes and got a 30,000 gold, which is pretty solid. But I think this next method is going to be even better, so be sure to stick around while I explain 
the basics of what we just did. So you get under Watt Run. I have plenty of videos on this. You go down to his chest, his inventory chest, take everything from it, stockpile up a bunch of stuff, and then sell it back to him. That's pretty much the gist of it. The next way that we're going to do this, the next method, is we're going to go up here to Dawnstar. I'm sure you guys know where this is going, but it might take a little bit more of a twist. Now, if you haven't been to Dawnstar before, you can come down here to the White Run Stables. And now that you're here at the White Run Stables, you can come over here to my main man, Bjorlum, ask him to hire, your, hire his carriage, and you can go straight to Dawnstar for 50 gold, which shouldn't be a problem if you just did that first method a little bit. Now, if you come up here to Dawnstar, I'm, I'm going to try to save my 50 gold, and we're going to come straight up here to Dawnstar, and then I'll show you what we're supposed to do. And now that we're here in Dawnstar, oh wow, we got really lucky with the uh, Khajiit spawn here. Now, if you don't get lucky with the Khajiit spawn, you only have to wait one hour at a time. Don't do days at a time, because every single hour resets, gives them another chance to spawn, just like a day does, and it takes a lot less time. So if we walk up here to Akari, ask her what she has for sale, You'll see she has 790 gold, roughly 1,000 um, if you have any of the upgrades. And you can see she has a bunch of different stuff for sale. Now, her inventory is actually a little bit further away than uh, Yorland's is under the Skyforge. But if we walk straight over here and just keep walking here on the main little area of Dawnstar, the main path, call it Main Street for short, you get over here to this area the mine um, in Dawnstar here and you can come straight over here to the other side the left side of it and search a chest right here between those rocks and you can see here instantly we have a much much better gold uh, return on our investment here we have 800 gold for one piece a thousand gold for that piece 600 gold I mean and then all these enchants there's so many enchants and stuff like that and I have already taken some from her uh, inventory before so there's not quite as much as there should be there. But you could take all the different enchanted stuff and all the potions and all the soul gems and make your gold insanely fast compared to the Yorland method. But the difference is Yorland will help you upgrade your smithing much faster if you're trying to do that on the side also. While this Dawnstar method will actually help you with your enchanting um, skill much more than Yorland will. So it's kind of a uh, double-bladed sword, whichever one you want, which you need both um, in order to play top-tier Skyrim. But that is pretty much the end of this guide. I'm going to show you guys how to reset her inventory also. So if you come in here and see, she's got 40 gold. Now we're going to just save, slice her up a bit. You don't have to kill her, but I just so inc insanely powerful that that happened. But then you load your save again, talk to her, ask her what she has for sale, and then there you go, 790 gold. She has it back. So that is pretty much how you get gold in Skyrim very, very quickly. Those are the two methods that I use in tandem to get a lot, ton of gold and my smithing and enchanting skill up to 100 very quickly. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to help us hit 3,000 subscribers as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching, but above all else, thank you for your time.